Today we are going to be discussing the changes which took place in music during the 14th century. Around that time society had changed. The authority of the church was no longer what it was. This was a world in Europe which was ravaged by war. There was the bubonic plague known as the Black Death. There was the Hundred Years' War between France and England. It was a time of great upheaval and uncertainty. And this actually led to the weakening of the influence of the church. Now, for the first time, music was still polyphonic, but it was the secular polyphonic music. The style was so different, in fact, that in Italy and France it was known as the Ars Nova, the new art. Now, music was set polyphonically to drinking songs and hunting songs and music which imitated nature. It was a, a complete turnover in the way things were done. Already by the early 14th century, they had evolved a system of notation which could indicate any rhythmic pattern. As we know, Gregorian chant didn't have a set rhythm. It moved very freely. It created a sense of floating. The, the rhythm is just it happened in a spontaneous fashion. There wasn't a set strict meter which underpinned the whole thing. Now, there was a clearly defined meter and rhythm, and rhythm was actually specified very clearly in the notation used. So this was polyphonic secular music, which was unrelated to Gregorian chant, and there were some key examples which we're going to look at. Julien de Marchais was born around 1300 in the French province of Champagne. He was famous both as a musician and a poet. Although he was a priest, he spent most of his life as a court official for various royal families. Thanks to the beautiful copies of his music, which he presented to his patrons, he is one of the first composers whose works have survived. The decline of the church is reflected in his music, which consists mostly of love songs and instrumental music. But he also wrote sacred music, and his Notre Dame Mass is one of the best known compositions of the 14th century. It is important in that it is the first polyphonic treatment of the Mass ordinary by a known composer. Demoschet's Notre Dame Mass is written for four voices. We are listening to the Agnus Dei from this Mass. It is in triple meter and is endowed with complex, rhythm, complex rhythmic patterns which contribute to its intensity. The two upper parts are rhythmically active and contain syncopation, a feature common in 14th century music. The two lower parts move in long notes and play a supporting role. The Agnus Dei is based on a Gregorian chant it is in three sections, Agnus Dei 1, Agnus Dei 2, and Agnus Dei 3, which could be labeled as A, B, and C, respectively. A and B are similar in mood, rhythm, and texture. Here we can hear the third and final iteration of the Agnus Dei, where the text changes from Miserere Nobis, Have Mercy on Us, 
to Donna Nobis Patchen grant us peace.